Oh, hi kids. I am so excited to get to see you, but um, you, you gotta be a spy with me. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, because our, our series this time is called Spy Kids. And so, uh, you know, I've got my glasses on to kind of protect my identity and uh, Boynton, didn't Boynton choose a nice way to protect his identity? Would you like to say hi? <gasps> Hi. Okay. 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 You're a little, a little nervous. Okay. All right. We'll put his hat back on him, but I am so excited to get to see you as we continue in our lesson on spy kids. And maybe you remember who we're learning about. Do you remember? That's right. It's Daniel. We are learning about how Daniel and his friends are stuck, right? King Nebuchadnezzar has them stuck and they are kind of like spy kids, spies in a very different land, the Babylonian land. And so all of the customs are different and mean King Nebuchadnezzar is trying to get them to do things that their God, our God, would not want us to do. And so we are going to be learning more about that today. And specifically, we are going to learn that even if I'm all alone in the fight, I'm going to choose to do what's right. So we are going to choose to do the right thing even when no one is watching. Yes, that is exactly what we're going to do. So now you remember Boynton. Boynton helps us. Boynton, we've got to see your cute face tonight. Um, Boynton is going to help me tell our story. And remember, every time we say the name Daniel, you're either going to stand up or sit down. And uh, you can help me stay on track with our story. Okay, so here is our story. In today's Bible story, we continue in the book of Daniel chapter one. And we're learning about Daniel and his friends. You remember the last time we left them, they were offered a very big future if they would just choose to walk away from their God and not do what God told them to do. King Nebuchadnezzar set before them a banquet table full of delicious food and wine. The problem was some of that food and wine were against the list of foods that God told them they could eat. I know. I know, Boynton, they shouldn't do it. They shouldn't do it, but they were tempted, I bet. Yeah, yeah, let's see what happens. All of the other young men around them were making the wrong decisions and they were eating the king's food. Oh, I know, I'm, no, I'm sorry for them, aren't you? Yes, because you, you know things aren't going to go well for them. Mm -hmm, mm -mm. Okay, so Daniel and his friends had a choice to make. They could choose to compromise and break God's rules, following the crowd just like everybody else, or they could choose to obey God. What do you think they chose? <gasps> Boynton thinks they chose to do what God would want them to do. Let's see. They decided not to go against what God wanted them to do. You were right, Boynton. He knows. He was right. Um, even if it meant that they would get sent out of the king's palace and put back into prison. They were not going to compromise. They were not going to do something they knew was wrong. Daniel and his friends told the king's officials, I would like permission to eat only the food that God has commanded us to eat. Now, did you notice something? Daniel didn't go up to the chief official and say, listen, I am not going to do what you say. Would that have been a very good attitude? No, no, he asked for permission, right? Yeah, he chose even to do what's right. When he was in a bad situation, he chose to have a good attitude. The, he asked for permission with the right attitude. So Daniel told the chief official he had a plan. He said, let me and my friends choose to eat what God has told us to eat. Let all the other young men eat what they want to eat. The king's food and wine. That's fine. That's fine. 
And at the end of 10 days, if we don't look stronger, the ones who were not going to eat the king's food, if we don't look stronger and healthier, you can punish us. Well, the chief official agreed. <gasps> Isn't that amazing? Yeah, the chief official agreed. Maybe it's because they asked so nicely. You think so? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And Daniel and his friends ate only what God told them to eat. Ten days passed and it was time to compare the men. And guess what? Not only did Daniel and his friends look just as good as the others, they looked better and stronger and healthier. Yep. The chief official saw that they were stronger and wiser than the rest. And he decided that they were allowed to eat only the food that God wanted them to eat. And they were appointed to the king's service. Isn't that amazing, Boynton? Yeah, yeah. You know, they were in a pretty tough situation, weren't they? Yep, yep, and they were told to eat the food, but they didn't want to go against what God told them to do. And so they asked for permission in a very nice way with the right attitude. And guess what? It worked. It worked. Hey, Boynton, thank you so much for telling our story with us. You want to say goodbye to the kids and you'll come back next time? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Boynton wants me to put his disguise back on so uh, that he can go be a spy kid with you. Okay, all right. Well, we um, have a, a power verse for today, and it is from 1 Peter 1.15. It's be holy in all you do. Be holy in all you do. When people are watching you, do what's right. That's what being holy is. is do what God would want you to do. That's what being holy is, right? Be holy. Do what God wants you to do when people are watching, when you're in church, when you're at school, when you're with your family, but also do what's right when no one's watching, when you're all by yourself. Do what's right. Do what's holy to God. And, you know, the other thing we learned from Daniel today is we learned to keep the right attitude. Keep the right attitude. It could have been very easy for Daniel to go up and demand or maybe to throw a fit and say he was not going to eat the king's food. But do you think that the, the official there in the palace would have been as willing to let Daniel do his little experiment? I don't think that the palace official would have been as, as likely to let Daniel and his buddies eat only God's food, and then at the end of that time period, go and see if they were stronger than the others. I bet he wouldn't have gotten permission to do that, and he would have gotten thrown back into prison. Yeah, I do. I do think so. So it's important for us to remember, even when we want to stomp our feet, or maybe yell and scream, or maybe even pout, so that maybe we can get our way, it's important for us to remember to be centered and to be calm, maybe take a deep breath and try to ask for what we want in the right way, right? With the right attitude. It's hard to do. It's hard for kids, but it's hard for adults too. Don't worry, kids. It's hard for everybody. And then, you know, once you do things that are right and holy, when you're by yourself, when you try to do things with the right attitude, well, then you just have to wait and watch God bring the glory, right? You can't force things. Sometimes we just have to wait and watch and let God take things through to completion. That's exactly right. You know, I have had a really good time tonight talking to you about our Spy Kids series and our lesson. And Boynton has had a really good time too. And we can't wait, can we? <gasps> no, we can't wait to see you next week when we do our next lesson and learn more about Daniel and his friends. We hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.